Thank you, thank you everyone for waiting. Clapping Gary there. <laughs> um, so it's really a pleasure to be here with you again in this uh, large asterisk community. It's also a pleasure to have with me my colleague Giuseppe Namorata and also my colleague uh, Giuseppe Carreri over there, okay, trying to get some picture. And I hope also we, we will reply also all the technical questions we have. <laughs> um, before entering in the presentation, let me just uh, uh, give you a few information about who we are for people who don't know about us. So Signalab is an Italian company. We founded the company 10 years ago in Torino. It's in, on the north part of Italy. And uh, so we are specialized in asterisk solutions since more or less 2004. What you see on the picture there, it's about our flagship product called Axcolli. It's a con contact center solution. What you see on the left, Axcolli Shuttle is the well-known solution. And uh, it's uh, all about voice for contact center. So with Shuttle, we provided quite cool real-time dashboards, drag and drop IBR, advanced reportings, voice recordings, of course, for quality monitor, and everything focus on voice. Also, let me mention about the CTI application we normally provide to the contact center agent. A um, few months ago, actually in 2015, we started to work on the new solution called Axcolli Motion. Um, the benefits of Motion are mainly two. One, the first one is we, we go omni-channel, so we added on top of asterisk, in this case asterisk 13 real time, we added other channels. So for the customers to be able to interact with a call center using SMS, web chat, email, fax, and furthermore, we will see. And the second uh, main modules, it's called uh, Motion Bull, which is our new dialer solution, providing predictive, progressive power dialing, and so on. The solution is used now in many countries, and it's provided using multiple language. Let's now move to some serious stuff. Serious up to a point. This is, yeah? I think so, yeah. They, they asked me for the presentation, so I think everything will be available, okay? And uh, I mean, after the presentation, we are ill for you. Thank you, David. You are our sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this is about our 10 years of celebration. We celebrated with very good Parmesan cheese. It's a contact center Parmesan. <laughs> Tasty wine. It was pretty cool. And well, let me thank more or less, it was more or less all our team there. So let me thank all, all the team working hard on the product, apart from what you see on the picture here. Okay. <laughs> So before starting a, a couple of questions, I'd like to understand uh, how many of you have ever used asterisk for call center applications? Okay, pretty much. How about how many of you have ever used some omni-channel or multiple channel applications? Okay, a few of you. That's really what we are focusing today in the presentation, okay? So we will talk about omni-channel. Um, we will talk about the challenges that we faced during our development, how, what we did so far, some uh, best practice, some demos as well, and uh, at the end, Giuseppe will provide you a very cool demo about something we have in mind next. Why omnichannel? Well, apart from many eminent, uh, let me say, eminent researches you can find on the web, so this is about uh, Gartner Group, you see that uh, the voice channel is uh, still important, but uh, the messaging platform, for example, uh, are growing a lot. Facebook, WhatsApp, WeChat, and so on and so forth. So they expect uh, uh, tremendous growing in the messaging. This is another research from Deloitte. You see the, the voice will still be important, but will decrease in the next three, three years. Instead, web chat, I see there, social media, SMS also and video call will grow dramatically. So there's the need for many call center managers to have 
omnichannel solution. What, what, what does it mean, omnichannel? What does it mean, omnichannel, before the video? It means uh, getting an integrated solution to provide all the channel inside. So the possibility for the customer to interact with your contact center using, for example, voice, email, web chat, and so on and so forth. The possibility for the agents to be multi-skilled and so to interact with the customer using all those channels or some of those. And the possibility for the supervisors to get what it's called normally the customer journey. Okay? So the full history of the different channel interactions they can experience. I was mentioning about uh, uh, voice and other channels. This is an example we have integrated with us, our Spanish partner. It's called Interactive Powers. And it's about video. What you see on, on top of the screen is our CTI phone bar integrated with Asterisk. Below, you see the WebRTC video interactions. What is pretty interesting about this is that uh, when a customer tries to make the video call with a call center, then the call will be routed inside an asterisk queue. Benefits, benefit, so they will benefit from the strategy of the queue, from the routing of the queue. At the end, the agent inside the queue will receive the notifications. When the agent accepts to interact, then he will be in engaging the customer via video. Okay? Let's now move to, to what we have done and what, what's our experience. So it, it, it's not going to be easy when you try to develop uh, an omnichannel software. Uh, we faced a lot of challenges. I tried to put here just a few of them to give you an idea. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit more about open channel because this is something that, uh, starting from a challenge, we, we've been able, I think, to uh, move to an opportunity, an opportunity for the customers and for our partners and resellers. So it, 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 it happened that, okay, we started to build web chat, SMS, and all the channels you saw there. And then some, our, some of our customers, for example, in China, they told us, okay, nice, but here I want to use WeChat because our customer would like to interact with our call center via WeChat. What, where is that? And uh, some other partners, okay, we want our customer to interact via, via Twitter or via Telegram. Or we have a very custom video application we want to be able to route inside your queue. How can we manage that? So we came out with a concept of open channel. What's that? Basically, it's a set of API. I, I need to thank uh, Giuseppe Carini and all the development team for that. It's a set of API providing uh, the possibility for, for you and for our customers to add more channels. Mm. Um, it works uh, basically like this. So suppose th that uh, you want to integrate Facebook Messenger, mm, just to have an example, with Xcolli. Uh, let's suppose that uh, what you see on the, on the right of the picture is the Facebook. Uh, what you need to do is a very simple script. You can use any kind of language to integrate, in this case, Facebook Messenger with our API. So when, uh, in this case, when a new uh, Facebook message is incoming from a customer, then you can call our RESTful API, you see on the left side, to send a message to Xcolli. Okay. Hey, there is a new customer, a new Facebook customer uh, who would like to interact with your call center. From Asterisk 13 real time, then we, we, we are able to define a routing. We call it uh, action plan, which is very similar to the dial plan in Asterisk. The benefit of that is that you can route the Facebook interaction, the new message, inside a queue of agents the agents inside the queue will receive a notification. And when the agent accepts the notification, he or she will be able to start a conversation, in this case using uh, Xcolli, with the Facebook customer. Uh, in order to get back to the customer, you can use the callback URL we are providing. From the web interface, what's going to happen, I will show you now. So this is what our 
partner in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia did. They were able to use Open Channel to integrate WeChat with Axcolli. So big thank to Helio ICT. This is the name of our partner there. So what you see on the picture is uh, when you want to create a new channel, you jump inside the Open Channel menu. You create the Open Channel endpoint, what we call the reply URI which is actually the script you are going to develop to interact, in this case, with WeChat. So they used PHP, but you, again, you can use whatever you want. Uh, when, you when you do that, you get, automatically you get another endpoint you are going to use um, to send back from, in this case, WeChat to Xcolli the messaging. And this is the receive URI you see there. And this is how the PHP of Helio ICT uh, is going to, to, to appear for you. Mm, I just took a few snapshots about that. So you see the endpoint to receive the message from WeChat to Xcolli, and the other one to send back the message from the agents, from the Xcolli agents to WeChat. And this is the result. So first of all, when a new customer would like to send a WeChat message to the call center, the agents inside the queue, using our phone bar, in this case on top of the screen, and on below you see our, what we call the om, om, omni-channel, omni-desktop interface. It's a web interface the agents are normally using to manage all the other channels besides voice. So the, the agents are going to receive the notification and uh, when an agent accepts the notification, he or she will be able to engage the chat, okay? In this case, with via WeChat. <coughs> you can do much more. Hmm? Uh, it's just a question of imagination. Hmm? So basically what you can do is that you can interact with Xcolli, let's say asterisk, using any kind of external uh, application, so for example, uh, any kind of messaging application, any kind of, I don't know, IoT sensor overcoming a certain threshold you would, you would like to send a message or an alarm to a group of agents. Twitter, for example, it's, it's now time for, a, if, a, if the network will support for a, a quick uh, uh, demo about a Twitter, for example, how does it work? Uh, so I have here, the agent logged uh, inside our European instance in this case. So I have the agent fully logged and I have here the Twitter. So let's say that I am a Twitter customer and I'd like to send a new message to the call center. Okay, so I send a message and you see that the agent, the message will be routed inside the queue of agents. The agent will receive such kind of a notification. Mm -hmm. We support what we call the ring all or beep all or a kind of round robin strategy at the moment. And uh, okay, the agent can accept the interactions and he can reply to the customer. Hello, how can I help you? Okay. So I'm going to send back to the customer the reply. Here it is. So that's just an example, but in principle you can do the same with many other social media messaging platform. Uh, let's get back now to the presentation. One last thing and then I will hand over to Giuseppe is about uh, another challenge we faced about the omnichannel solution was about the agent skills. So when we talk multiple channel, the things get more complex. Uh, you can have agents very much skilled on, uh, very good to interact via voice, not very good via messaging or vice versa. And other agents who is very good via messaging interactions are not very good with voice. So uh, what do the call center manager as does was, okay, I want to give different priority, I want to be able to give different capacity or different skill. Hmm? 
This is a very simple example what you can do with our application for, for this example when this agent is on a live Twitter messaging you can automatically move the agents on pause status on all the other channels. That means that this agent will not be bothered with voice uh, calls or any other uh, channel interactions. Mm -hmm. Or if you enable that, he will. Well, it's now time for me to hand over to Giuseppe, who will show you something pretty cool, I think. Thank you very much. Giuseppe. Thank you, Diego. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Giuseppe Namorate. I'm, I'm one of the founders of uh, Xenia Lab, together with Diego. Um, my purpose today uh, is uh, to introduce you a new idea, uh, a new concept of uh, mm, how to interact with the customer care. Uh, I would say, in this case, uh, we are not talking about simple uh, standard customer care, but more uh, competence center. I mean, where uh, high level of skill is needed both on the uh, agent side and also on what we will call on technician or field technician. Um, now we are going to see a very short video uh, that uh, will show uh, and this idea where we put together a lot of pieces, all the best pieces uh, uh, we have. I mean, uh, we used uh, Asterisk Toolkit as a communication toolkit. We used uh, our uh, open channel technology. And an Italian partner, I must say, uh, a very smart Italian partner in my state, that is, uh, the, the name is uh, Head Up was able to integrate uh, uh, his uh, technologies, uh, his uh, IoT and the video technology inside all this uh, scenario. Uh, let's start with the, the first piece of the video. As you can see in the video, there is a, a technician who is in charge to, op, main, uh, to uh, maintenance operation over an aircraft uh, that suddenly has some problem. And uh, he doesn't, didn't know anymore how to fix uh, uh, and how to maintain the operation. And then uh, what it does now is uh, Okay, in these few seconds of video, a, a tons of technological things uh, have occurred. Uh, well, uh, when the technician has worn the uh, smart glasses, I mean uh, these uh, smart glasses, what happened was uh, that uh, it went connected to an application server. And uh, when it showed is uh, the QR code printed on his badge. An application login was performed, and then the application starts, started, and the routing, the is called, routing was called, and then the first available agent in the queue was contacted. So this is using the open channel as well, of course. So uh, the benefits of this kind of solution are different. You, you can imagine that uh, when 
the two uh, colleagues are connected thanks to the technology, thanks to the IoT uh, and the video technology, is uh, possible for the expert uh, in the competence center to see the same things that uh, the field technician is seeing, that is the same point of view. Uh, another interesting thing is that they can talk together and the remote, the, the expert, the remote expert can send text, can send images, uh, and as well schema to these particular smart glasses that contains uh, a technology that is called snap vision, which means uh, uh, that there is inside a micro monitor that can project all the video, all the information, text, or a video information in a small portion of uh, the, your visual field. Then you can operate, you can see uh, order, you can see information, but you can work hands-free. So, uh, now I, I would be confident to take this plane <laughs> because everything was done uh, perfectly. Uh, this brings uh, me to the end of my presentation, and uh, I hope that uh, these few things, the technological things I showed, uh, will you let you to think about uh, what is possible to do nowadays with uh, Asterisk, with uh, SCOLI, and an IoT device. Thank you. And if you have any question, don't hesitate. Any questions you would like to raise now, or even later? We are here for all the three days. Yeah. How long does it take to integrate one of the custom channels into the queue? How long does it take that to write that program, I guess? Well, our partner in Malaysia took uh, really few few days of development. It also depends on the channels, of course. There are some channels easier, like Facebook or uh, Twitter. There are some other channels a little bit uh, challenge, like WhatsApp and so on. But uh, normally it takes uh, some hours of development, really. Yeah? In the video you showed today, now, what is the distance between the expert and the, the technician? Are they on different uh, premises? Yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, this, uh, this device uh, contains uh, inside the, there is an, an Android operating system, then there is an application that uh, uh, we developed with the WebRTC support, uh, and it contains a Wi Fi connection. Then, you, through Wi Fi, you can connect uh, to the internet, and then uh, you can be everywhere you have a nice connection. Uh, it has been tested as well with. Um, um, 4G router with a SIM inside, then you can connect to the router, and with 4G connection, uh, you can reach uh, uh, the, the, the competence center. And has been used, for example, um, uh, to provide maintenance on the uh, wind, uh, wind, wind turbines because you can help remotely uh, the technician to, to understand. Uh, how to operate, and uh, there is also some, somebody back that knows better and can help them remotely. And you can imagine a lot of use of this kind of uh, technologies. Uh, okay, this is, uh, I, this is uh, an equipment that you can buy here in the, in the United States. It's a few hundred dollars of this. It's not so much okay, expensive. If you want to try the glasses later. Yeah, but it's not connected. But you can see, you, but see you can see the there. you can see the the camera. You can see that you can uh, you can have uh, information there. You can see also through. Then you can work, and you can uh, if you want. You I can I can switch it on. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, uh, the, the charge? No, for us, for us. We, we normally charge per uh, concurrent ah. agent so far. Right. Gary is one of our United States partners, so <laughs> he, you can uh, ask him and he will sell you a lot of licenses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have different plans. So for example, we have the plan for, uh, I didn't put the brochure here, but we have a plan oh, for, yeah, I know. And we have the plan for voice. So if you only need voice, if you need voice and the dialer, and then if you need voice and all the other channels. So basically it works like that. Uh, yeah, from a few information from the technical point of view, you, you set up the solution inside the virtual machine normally. A CentOS virtual machine is fine. We are starting to work uh, on dockerizing, but we are still at the beginning. And that's everything, more or less. Okay, thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.